work at the moment. Anyway, it's kind of like really late as well. Kids are decorating the tree and we are trying to set up the camp so we can start our Christmas celebration. I'd hammer in the evening all over this land. Look at the sunset. It's actually a really wonderful spot. Like this, this is really amazing. Those view over there. Do you want to tell me? Zero, I got a camera here. What are you doing? Oh, rainbow. Rainbow? Yeah, rainbow. What are you painting? A rock and roll car. Yeah, right. Okay. Where did you get the car from? Um, for Christmas. Yeah. Did you get the car or did you just get some blocks? I just get some blocks. And how did you turn it into a car? I filled it with screws in it. It's pretty cool and now you're painting it. Yeah. Do you like your present? Yeah. How about Roxy? Yeah. And then this one on, and then this one on, and then, and then this one on, and then this one on the top, and then these wheels on. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. What is it? A 
It's like how many more days we're gonna do this, Phil? Seven? No, five more nights. Four more nights, and then we are finished with this weird work holiday. Basically, just arrived at a playground. That's what the kids have been asking to do the whole time. Basically, three weeks to come to this particular playground, even though we've done all other awesome stuff. My working holiday, or what do you call it? Well, basically, we are on holidays, but we are still working, so doing like this holiday stuff in our town. So, really cool thing. I've been looking for this vegan restaurant in town and Definitely the best ones are Indian Cuisine in Tan Curry and then Anatolia which is a Turkish cuisine in Foster. So the two best ones they make really nice vegan meals and they know what a vegan meal is which is a bonus. My expectations are pretty low at the moment for any vegan food I'm so used to. Waitress is just telling they don't know what a vegan means or that they just can't put together a vegan meal so I'm really really <laughs> so expectations are pretty low but those are really really good ones and then you can get in at the shopping center Stockland here in Foster you can get a vegan kebab which is all right and also there's a Malaysian guy who makes a really nice Thai kind of Malaysian dish vegan and he knows what it is so basically there's actually so far four places that you can get good vegan food that's really cool I just hope that this will grow. Maybe hopefully one day we'll get a whole vegan restaurant in this town. So we're staying on a farm at the moment in a caravan and this is probably like the cutest thing. Milko, And he's actually a pet bull that was adopted from a dairy farm so he's five years old he's just gone to the operation because he was sick Had a little five-year-old boy or big boy and he would have been killed and sold as eel but he got lucky been here nearly two weeks now just here on a paddock unpowered everything just pretty cool we quite like it here so this is somebody's farm, they just do this, they call it free range camping. Highly recommend you come here, there's, um, it's got lots of animals here. I mean, there's some lucky, lucky retired racehorses who live on this farm. 
there's some horses who are still racing and uh, I don't agree with horse racing obviously but I must admit that at least here I can see they're treated really nicely and their owners take them to the beach and for a swim and all that they've got plenty of space so really seriously this is probably like one of the better places for these animals to live on there's Mr. Zero Mr. Zero say hello to the camera say hello <laughs> 